What's up, fam? It's your boy Black Asher back here with another short video. This video is going to be about these drag queen kids. I seen this morning on the, on the internet. And I was like, wow, you know, this LBG, QQ, whatever, I don't know if I'm saying it right, or whatever the community, I think they're going overboard. Yes, yeah, going overboard. Okay, I have nothing against these um homosexuals, whatever, things like that. You know, you do your own thing. But I do feel now that they're they pushing this agenda on little kids too much. Why? Because I saw this man last year. It was um some drag queens going to like head starts and kindergartens or these little schools, preschoolers, and reading stories to them. Right? First I was like, eh, come on. Why? What's the agenda? Why have some kind of um drag queens come to your kid's school and read them stories? That's not correct. I don't believe I, I put like this here. If that's my my kid, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want that. Put that way, I wouldn't want that. You know? But I says I still say they're pushing the general on these little kids. Now you got little kids, they have like, like pageants where little kids win like drag queen awards. They're like seven, eight, nine years old, man. This is definitely wrong. I don't care. Now, it's definitely wrong. First, I was gonna try to hold back a little bit. I don't care who I fit with this here. That is wrong. You know, these little kids, they don't have no minds to say, um, about their sexuality to I'm seven, eight years old. Um, I'm this, I'm that. And what little kid comes out at six years old and says, I'm transgender, and lets someone put that in his head? Where you get this word from? These are these parents is putting this pushes on their kids. These homosexual parents, whatever these people are, they push it on them. Cause I say it like this here. Most of these little kids I seen on there had they have mothers, and the mothers pushing this stuff on these little kids. You know, that's same also in the black community too. You know, they push this stuff. You see, you see more little black kids walk around acting like girls. Why? Because there's no men inside the house. No, that's our fault, men. Not my fault, because I take care of mine. <laughs> you know, but anyway, I'm saying they're not there. For these little kids too, walk around as these drag queens. There's no father there. There's a mother. And these little kids has no jobs. You know, they don't have no money to buy high heels, lipstick. Fuck little wigs, dresses and things and put on your boy and make go to pageants. You're not trying to deter him away from that. You're pushing it on him. Now they got his um gay gay pride parades. One little kid, he's a he's, but he I say she he, little boy, he said I was born on the, the month of gay pride in two thousand seven. Some like that. I'm like, wow, now they really into this here. It's dangerous, you know, it's really dangerous out there. We got people Extorting kids. That's what they're doing. Exploiting them too, you know? Dressing them up in heels. Just like that um that South African um actress um Charlie Chizon, something like that. She adopted black kids and got the boy dressing up as as dresses with dresses on, pink backpacks and works, you know. This is this is wild, man. And this is the same thing I get at. People get angry with me sometimes. But I say you can get angry all you want. Because black cats tell the truth. I I bring it, I bring it real, I always tell you like this here, you know, all these, these, um, these homosexuals adopting kids. First people, first of all, a person will say, oh, at least they adopted a kid and gave the kid a home. Yeah, but what kind of home? We've seen too many instances here, past, these past few years, where people are adopting homosexual couples, I'm talking to men, I know the ones I'm going by men now, who have adopted these little kids, black kids, and sexually assaulting them. One dude, they, they, they had about like nine kids. But they had the same sort about five of them. They all was black. How about the one with the little, the video with the little girl, the white lady driver's little girl in the, in the back of a, um, like an SUV, but the little girl is inside like a little dog cage and hops out of a dog cage. So imagine what's going on inside this house. But no, you black people out there, oh, they, 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 y'all cool with let other people, other races adopt our kids. China too. They going to Ethiopia adopting little kids. They're supposed to check on these kids every six months, but they don't check on these kids. But anyway, they did some check on them. Some of them, one little girl, little girl missing. They adopt that kid for eternal organs. Now, black people, y'all got cash, got money? Go adopt the kid. You know, you want to help them? Send money to the orphanage. Make, make sure you got some good employees there. They got some food, some, some help for the kids. Do, do something. But we sit around and kids keep watching. Like, people just do what I want with kids. It's also our fault too, I say. We keep watching people do bad things to these kids. Especially now with this LBGTQ stuff there. 
No. No. Well, it's drag queen and kids, little kids. So I'm a transgender. I'm a homosexual. And now you got people in the media just, oh, this person is a transgender woman. I don't care about, there's no such thing as no transgender woman to me. To me, it's no transgender woman. you just a dude, a man, born with a penis. You want to dress like a woman. You like you like dudes, whatever the case may be. That's cool. But um, I will never call no transgender dude, whatever, a woman. Because you're a man. And you know you're a man. You got that, that piece between your legs. You're a man. You need to leave these kids alone with this LBGTQ drag queen. Read stories to them. Take them to gay pride parades. That's, okay, if you want to take the parade, that's what your lifestyle is. Mm, I can't say nothing about that. I really can't say, but far as pushing on them, having little kids dressed up doing pageants and stuff like that, these pedophile predators watching them, wanting a little piece of them little kids, and you are advertising these kids, you are wrong. You are wrong. And you can believe what you want to believe. You can say what you want to say. You like or dislike. I don't care. But subscribe, and I'm out. <laughs>